Hi, welcome to Math 105. My name is Brian. I'm the instructor for this class. I figured I'd make a quick video just kind of talking you through some of the basics and what you'll need to know. Uh, so the first thing that I wanted to go through is most of this class that pretty much everything you're going to be doing is going to be through what's called My Math Lab. And there should be information in the email that I send you about how to get registered. But essentially, you go to a website that looks something like this. And you'll click somewhere, what I guess here for student to register. Um, go through a bunch of steps, in, input some information that was in that email and you'll be good to go. And then for future times, you can just come up here and sign in. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, one comment, well, when my version might look slightly different than yours. Like I got a lot of classes here. You probably don't have all these classes. Uh, but what you'll see is something that looks more or less like this. And you'll see Math 105 and click on it. And this will take you to our main course page, which again might look slightly different for you, but it should be the same idea. So most of what you're going to be doing on this class will be through these learning modules. But before I get into those, I'm going to go through this start here link. Um, this start here has a lot of information about our class. Uh, these learning objectives and course information, you can read a little bit about the class. You can find links to the syllabus. You can find my email address, a little bit of information about me. Um, this course materials will be a handy place for me to put things. Um, these are all the files that I should include in that email. But in case you're looking for them, they're also posted up online. Um, there's a schedule, our syllabus, there's all sorts of stuff here that'll be useful for you. Um, another comment is all of the exams that you take, both of the exams, I guess the midterm and the final needs to be proctored. So figure out how you're going to get stuff proctored. There should be a document that has all sorts of information about proctoring exams. Um, but it's important to get that done early because some proctors need notice, you need to get stuff there in a certain time period. So I need to know where I'm sending all this stuff to make sure that you don't miss out on anything. Um, some broad comments about the class. So you'll see we got our schedule here. If you click on this. Uh, what I did here is I kind of give you an outline of when I think you should complete each of these different modules. And so this will just kind of take you through the summer. However, just because I say you should do module one on Tuesday, that doesn't mean it's due Tuesday night. Technically, you have until Sunday. You have until the end of the week to do all the work for that week. So modules one, two, and three, and quiz one, it looks like is due the first week. And then modules four, five, and six do the second week and so on. So things will be open until Sunday night at midnight. You'll be able to work on them as late as you want, but I highly recommend not waiting as long as possible. I mean, I know I sound like a teacher when I say that. I am a teacher. Um, but really, it'll benefit you to start these things early. Uh, benefits of starting things early is if things don't go perfectly, you got plenty of time to sort out your questions. There's lots of places you can get help in this class. But if you wait till Sunday or even Saturday night, um, you're going to have trouble getting much help. So really try to do these things according to the schedule. The number one reason people don't pass this class is because they fall behind. Because it's hard to stay up on top of stuff when you're not meeting every day. You know, you're doing all this stuff over line. It's really oh, all online. It's really easy to fall behind. And so I'm just trying to give you some words of encouragement, hopefully not find it sounding too condescending. Try things early. It will benefit you. If you try things early and struggle, um, you have a few places you can get help. There's this discussion board we have here. And the idea with the discussion board, I don't know how well this will work. We'll try it out. There's this ask a classmate thing. And the idea here is put any question you want up here. It can be an exact homework question. I can't do number one from this section. Fine. I don't care. If you see one of these questions asked, you being in this class, um, and answered, I'll give you extra credit. So the basic idea is if you have a question, ask them. Ask as many as you can. Ask easy questions if you want. It'll be a favor to your classmates because they'll get extra credit for answering your questions. Sometimes this thing gets lots of use and it can be really helpful. Sometimes nobody in the whole class uses it and that's fine too. It won't be required at all. It's just a resource that you have and an easy way to get extra credit. The only thing that's required is this little introduction. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it's your first assignment. It's pretty easy. You put a quick introduction, and if you decide to post a picture of yourself, you get extra credit. Fine. Do it or don't do it. You'll get information about that in our first module. Another way you can get help is by emailing me directly. I'm teaching this class. I want to help you if I can. However, trying to teach something via email is really, really hard to do. I don't know if you've ever tried typing math via email. It's really hard to express different concepts. Um, I can make videos like this one I'm making right now to try to talk you through stuff. However, they take a little while. I mean, just making the video is pretty time intensive. Um, I want to help you however I can, but I'm much more likely to help you make a big video, spend a bunch of my summer doing this, if you can ask me earlier in the week. 
Not because I need all week to do it, but because if you can ask me like on Tuesday, then I can get it all done maybe Tuesday night or Wednesday, and then the rest of the class can use it all week. And if I'm helping everybody in the class, it's a good investment of my time. But if it's really just helping one person, then maybe it doesn't, that's not a great way for me to answer questions. So there's a little bit of information about what we'll be doing. Um, I think you'll find this website is relatively easy to use. Uh, rather than try to take a tutorial or anything like that, I just kind of read through it and poke through it, and you'll kind of get the hang of it. These course modules, these learning modules here, will be everything that you need. They'll walk you through the class. So like here's the first module. Um, here's the lesson about it. You can read all sorts of information. Uh, often there's cheat sheets and summaries in here. And then there's activities for you to actually do. And those are the things that will be due. There's also quizzes. There'll be links directly to the quizzes through these learning modules. Um, but you can also get to them down here. Quizzes, homework, study guide, all this stuff. So try it out. I hope you find this class beneficial to you and this is a good way to learn it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Send me an email. Um, but I guess I'll end this video here. Again, welcome to the class. And uh, if I can help you with anything, please let me know.